Hi, I am Dr. Guru Prasad Hosokar, consultant neurologist at uh, Columbia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. My special interest is uh, Parkinson disease and movement disorders. Parkinson disease is a very common neurological disorder. It usually affects elderly above the age of 60 years. But we can also see Parkinson disease at age 40 or 50 years old. It commonly affects male and uh, females. The common symptoms patients present with Parkinson's disease is with tremors in the hands, either on the either left hand or right hand. A little uncommonly, it can affect the lower limbs to start with. So they have tremors when they are resting and they also can present with slowness of movements. It can affect their day-to-day -day activities like writing, brushing, eating and it gradually progresses. It also can be associated with stiffness in the limbs, either in the lower limb or upper limb. And it can lead to pains, like some of the patients can present with frozen shoulder because of the pain, restricted movements of the shoulder secondary to rigidity in Parkinson's disease. You can also have non-motor symptoms where they can start with constipation, you can have urinary urgency, they can have uh, intermittent sweating. These are the common non-motor symptoms. But these symptoms of Parkinson's disease progress over the time. One-sided symptoms becomes bilateral and then the axial movements also start getting affected. Uh, they can stoop while walking, their walking becomes slow and overall there will be slowness of their body movements. So when these type of patients present to a neurologist or a movement disorder specialist, we elicit uh, some of the signs in Parkinson's disease. So the typically tremors when we examine these are resting tremors, usually affecting one part of the body and then it, it progresses to the other side of the body. And on examination we see that there are uh, you know slowness in movements, what we call bradykinesia movements. So we ask them to tap their finger. We ask them to open and close their hands, alternate movements in the in like pronation, supination. We ask them to tap their foot. So we look at this thing, we look at their gait very closely. We see that the generalized slowness of uh, movements. There will be stiffness on examination, there will be rigidity, uh, what we reflect in the clinical symptoms of stiffness. So there will be rigidity on examination in the limbs and in the axial muscles like neck movements, trunkal movements. There will be rigidity on examination and their gait will be generally slow. There will be some amount of stoop posture. Apart from that, when these people are on medications, we also examine them for any dyskinetic movements. Typically, they are twisting movements in the hands or legs. There can be twisting of the neck, typically coriform movements, or there can be fixed uh, movements like dystonia. So these are the common clinical symptoms and signs of Parkinson's disease.